So now we are going to talk about another property of a parallelogram. This property states that if the diagonal of a parallelogram bisects one of the angles, then the other angle which the diagonal goes through will also be bisected. So in other words, we can say that if we are considering this particular diagonal AC and we have been given that diagonal AC is bisecting angle A. If diagonal AC is bisecting angle A, it will also bisect angle C, that is this angle. And this is the property that which we have to prove. So what have we been given? We have been given that AC bisects angle A. So we can write 1 and 2 which is equal. 1 is equal to 2. And we have been given that ABCD is a parallelogram. Or in other words, AB is parallel to DC and AD is parallel to BC. And we have to prove that this angle, let's call it 3, is equal to this angle. Let's call it 4. So we have to prove that angle 3 is equal to angle 4. Now in order to prove this, firstly we consider two angles. We consider angle 2 and angle 3. Now we have been given that AB is parallel to DC. We have been given AB is parallel to DC. Now for AB and DC, two parallel lines, angle 2 and angle 3 are alternate angles. So AC is the transversal for AB and DC. Now we can say from the properties of parallel lines that angle 2 will be equal to angle 3 because AB is parallel to DC because 2 and 3 are alternate angles. So angle 2 equal to angle 3. So here we have angle 2 equal to angle 3 which are alternate interior angles. Similarly consider angle 1 and angle 4. We have been given that AD is parallel to BC. Now if AD is parallel to BC and AC is the transversal cutting them, angle 1 and angle 4 are alternate angles. So since AD is parallel to BC, we can say angle 1 is equal to angle 4. Why? Because again they are alternate interior angles. So thus we have angle 1 is equal to angle 4. Now since angle 1 is equal to angle 2, I place angle 4 from this equation and since angle 2 is equal to angle 3, I place instead of angle 2, angle 3. So I have angle 4 equal to angle 3. That is this angle is equal to this angle, angle 4 equal to angle 3. And this is exactly what we had set out to prove that angle 3 is equal to angle 4 or in other words AC that is the angular bisector of A is also bisecting angle C into angle 3 and angle 4 which we have proved are equal. Thus we can also say that AC which bisects angle A also bisects angle C. Now look at the figure again. Over here angle 2 is equal to angle 4 which we have previously found out. Now if angle 2 is equal to angle 4, what can we say? In triangle ABC, we can say that AB is equal to BC because we can say AB equal to BC because these two sides contain two equal angles and we know from properties of triangles that equal sides will contain equal angles. Thus, AB equal to BC because equal sides contain equal angles. So, this side is equal to this side. And we know that ABCD is a parallelogram where opposite sides are equal. So, what can I say? I can say that AB is equal to DC and BC is equal to AD. So AB is equal to DC and BC is equal to AD because opposite sides of a parallelogram are equal and I just showed you that AB is equal to BC. So if AB is equal to BC and if opposite sides are equal, 
what does this tell me it tells me that ab is equal to bc is equal to cd equal to da or in other words all four sides are equal what do you think happens when all four sides become equal when all the four sides are equal it means that the parallelogram we have considered is a special case and it is a rhombus thus we can say that a b c d is a rhombus and this is what we have proved that when we have an angular bisector bisecting this angle as well as this angle abcd the parallelogram is a rhombus that is a special case